Take a look. An Escanaba business owner is back to work after a fire damaged his store. He had to close up shop for months during repairs. John Harris told TV6's Escanaba Bureau reporter Barbara Bellinger what he saw as the Ludington Street fire neared the beaten path. A police light hit the front of my building and all I could see is black smoke in this entire room right here. You couldn't see anything. It was swirling. And my heart dropped at that point. John Harris owns the Beaten Path, an outdoor shop with bikes, disc golf gear, and skateboards. This past January, the Ludington fire caused extensive damage to his building. I knew that I wanted to reopen. Like, this is what I've been doing pretty much my entire life. The building was gutted, so new walls, new ceiling, new heating ducts, new lights. Repair work started almost immediately. And on Saturday, five months after the fire, he reopened in the same space. I had a record day that day. Like everyone came here. It was absolutely amazing. Uh, so much support, and it just was probably the coolest day of the shop ever. Harris says fire repairs continue on the other parts of his structure. The owner of the building three doors down says he's ready for his to be demolished. Really hoping it comes down this month, but with all the debris right next to the building and attached to ours, it makes it very difficult. Warple is the director of the Escanaba Downtown Development Authority. He hopes a developer will consolidate the three vacant properties. The goal is to try and find somebody that may be able to put in some housing on the upper levels and maybe retail then in the lower levels. Warple says adding housing and activities for people to enjoy will attract other businesses and investment to the downtown. Harris says he'll have a big reopening celebration as soon as new inventory hits the shelves. Barbara Bellinger, TV6 News, Escanaba.